If you're over 40 and you have a small business, I can tell you you're in a very, very unique position to dominate on YouTube to grow your business and your brand. In this video, we're going to talk about the advantages that you can capitalize on to get more leads and make more sales for your business. So stay tuned. Hello, my friend. My name is Terry Petrovic. I've been an entrepreneur now for over 30 years and I've been on YouTube since 2008. I want you to know that if you have a small business and I'll define a small business is under 5 million in revenue and under 20 employees. If that is you and you're 40 years old, 50 years old or 60 years old, you're in a very unique position to grow your business, generate more leads and expand your business with YouTube. Now, you might be saying, why YouTube? Here's what I want you to understand about YouTube is YouTube is designed as a search engine. It is a place that you can create content for your audience and it will live forever. It'll be evergreen. And what I mean by that is that if you compare YouTube to social platforms like TikTok or even Instagram, you'll create content, reels, shorts, if you will, but they end up getting buried. One of the unique things about YouTube is that your content is searchable, meaning when you build your YouTube channel, uh, that content will continue to serve you from a marketing standpoint for years to come. Let me tell you a quick story about a client of mine. Her name is Beverly Monocle. Beverly did a testimonial video for me for marketing services that I taught her like 12 years ago. Unfortunately, about four years after Beverly did that video, she passed away from breast cancer. Six years later, because of that video, because it was on YouTube, I got a high-end client because of that story that she told. That's pretty amazing. Let's talk about the five main benefits that you as a small business owner can get by starting a YouTube channel. And again, it doesn't matter if you're 40, 50, 60, or 70. Hey, my dad at age 85 started a YouTube channel because he wanted to promote his accordion and he actually put microcomputers into his accordion and he wanted to teach people about that. So think about um, your ideal clients. Think about your brand. So the, the number one thing I'll tell you for building a YouTube channel, the, one of the biggest benefits that you'll see is you will be able to build your personal brand. When you create content, you need to be thinking about who is your ideal prospect and how can you help them overcome some of their challenges. And as you educate people, you're going to share stories and people are going to connect with you. Yes, it's true. Not everybody will connect with you, but you will be able to build your own tribe that resonates with who you are, your background, your stories, what you offer, more importantly, your vision for the future. So again, do not underestimate the power of building a personal brand and connecting with people uh, with videos on YouTube. Storytelling is a big part of that. Uh, education is a big part of that. That's how you build loyalty and make a connection. The second thing is you'll be able to generate leads and make more sales with YouTube. Again, YouTube is its own ecosystem. You can put like five links at the top of your header and your banner on YouTube. So you can send people to your website. You can put send people to your social media platforms, your sales funnels. Think about the content that you can create out there to answer and address people's specific challenges and questions. Now, something about YouTube that you need to understand, it's a search engine. Well, several years ago, it was all about the number of subscribers. The algorithm has changed today, and it's really about your connection and the view time of your audience. So when you create your content to generate leads and sales, Talk to one person, that one person who is struggling with the problem that you know that you can solve. Uh, it's a phenomenal tool to attract people to you, the right people to you. The third thing that you can do with YouTube in terms of a benefit standpoint is you can expand your reach and expand your audience. It's a beautiful thing when you can create uh, a marketing um, asset once and it works forever for you. And oh, by the way, it's very shareable. So, you know, I've been a small business owner for a long time. I've been in organizations like the BNI, I've been in Chamber of Commerce. And the whole purpose of us joining those groups is to get referrals and give referrals. So if you create YouTube content and you make it accessible to your referral partners, now it makes it easier for them to refer you so you can get more referrals and get more leads to create more sales. 
And again, fourth thing, we talked about this already, it's super effective in terms of marketing. It is evergreen marketing. You create content once, you can put it on all your social media platforms, but it resides on YouTube. Again, the number two search engine in the world. And the fifth benefit for creating a YouTube channel really is enhancing your education and support for your clients. It's all about educating and elevating, if you will, the client experience. When they can go and they can learn from you, the expert, if you will, you're helping them overcome challenges. You're helping them understand things that they don't know about. Sometimes you don't know what you don't know. But if you're the person, and it doesn't matter what your, your niche is, it could be your ophthalmologist, it could be that you're a roofer or a plumber or a home inspector. You know, every prospect that, that you have has a problem. And what they're looking for more than anything is somebody that they can trust to make the problem go away. So by you creating a bunch of video content, you're going to establish a relationship with your ideal prospects before they ever pick up the phone and call you. Let me address some of the frequently asked questions that I get when I work with small business owners about building a YouTube channel. First question really most people have is, how much time does it take? Well, the truth is you can spend as much time with it as you want. I would encourage you when you're first starting out to kind of carve out five to 10 hours a week to build that content. You want to start by making sure that your your brand, your, your website that you have, if you don't have a, a YouTube channel, matches your, your website. And if you need help with that, make a comment below. I'll give you some tips and strategies on how to do that pretty easily. But again, the most important thing is to think about what are the struggles, problems, and challenges that your ideal clients are having? Address those. So you want to create a content schedule. I would say plan out five to maybe 10 videos. And these videos don't need to be that long. They could be three to 10 minutes. They don't need to be any longer than 10 minutes. And the next question is, do I need fancy equipment? No, you don't. You can pretty much do everything you, you need with a smartphone or your laptop. The most important thing that you need to do when it comes to creating video is have good audio. And you can get earbuds or you can get a uh, an external microphone that attaches through a USB or something like that. Super easy to do. Then you're going to have to learn how to do some basic editing. If you don't have time to do editing, hey, I've got several clients that actually shoot the videos and I teach them and coach them on how to uh, uh, set up their office environment. I show them what type of equipment to get, whether it be the, the microphone or you know the background, maybe it's a green screen. They shoot the video content and they send it to me and I make it pretty professional. So if you're super busy, a little overwhelmed when you first get started, reach out to me. You can go to my website, teamwildmedia.com, click on the less chat section on the very top, there's a blue button and set up a conversation and have a one-to-one -one conversation and I can kind of walk you through some of those things. And the key is that you start right away. You have to start right away to create content. And the truth is, you know, I was the president of a Toastmasters organization, which teaches people how to speak in front of the room. You're not going to be great when you first start doing it, but hey, that's okay. You're going to connect with your tribe. Some people say, well, I don't like the way my hair looks. I don't like the way I sound. Well, you know what? When they meet you in person, that's what they're going to experience. And you just be you and you're going to be okay with that. Trust me when I say that. So let's talk about some action steps for you. Step number one is make sure that your YouTube header matches your brand of your website. Step two is start brainstorming a series of five, 10, maybe even 20 topics that speak to the pain points of your ideal clients. Again, your low hanging fruit, your ideal clients, those are the people that you wanna to talk to. And YouTube right now, more than ever, speaks to and they will find for you your audience. Once the YouTube algorithm understands who you are and the content that you create, YouTube is going to start giving you people um, and exposing your content to those people because their job is to connect people to channels. So if you create content that talks about, you know, a DIY, how to fix a plumbing leak, they're going to find people who are looking for those types of videos in terms of solution, and they're going to recommend your videos. Most of your videos, when you start or start out initially, are going to be found via a recommended video. So when a video finishes at the end, there's related videos, and that's where you're going to get found by most people when you're first starting out. And in a later video, we'll talk about the power of thumbnails, making it easy to stand out. Next thing you want to do is you just want to start publishing content. Don't worry about being great and awesome. If you just want to shoot the content, again, 
send it to me. I'll work with you and I'll make it pretty and professional if that's what you want to do. Okay, here's the bonus tip. As soon as you possibly can, once you start creating five, 10 videos, start looking at the YouTube analytics. You wanna look at uh, what videos are being watched. You wanna look at what the click-through rate is. That's when people cl actually click on the, thin, the thumbnail. And you wanna see how long people are watching your video content. If you're not speaking to the needs of an audience or if you don't deliver on your content right away, you're gonna see some pretty significant dips right away. Build the muscle and build the knowledge, if you will, to understand the analytics uh, of your video content. You've probably heard this before. You can improve what you can't measure. So start measuring. Hopefully you got some value out of today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right away. And so you can take advantage of all of the knowledge that I have over the last 30 years. And I've made lots of mistakes and I'll share some do's and some don'ts. And oh, by the way, if you have a friend who might need to watch this video, go ahead and share this video with them. I'd really appreciate that. Again, if you have any comments, please leave them below. And I appreciate you, who you are, what you do. And the entrepreneur journey is a, an exciting one. It doesn't matter if you're 40, 50, 60, 70, or even 85 years old like my dad. YouTube is a perfect place for you to grow your business and your brand. My name is Terry Petrovic. Remember this, my friend. You have a choice. Make it a better than terrific day and a prosperous one because you, yes, you absolutely deserve it. Till next time. Bye-bye for now.